It lasted just three days, but this week's junior doctor's strike was the most disruptive industrial action in the NHS yet, with 175,000 appointments and operations cancelled. But yesterday's £4 billion breakthrough for NHS staff like nurses has left those representing doctors feeling optimistic. It's positive that the, the other unions and Mr Barclay have been able to have talks. I do hope uh, that we can work towards an arrangement. Of course, unions have had, uh, healthcare sectors have had varying levels of real terms pay cuts. So I hope that he brings us something that will be um, acceptable to our members. Some argue the government has been canny by at first picking off the striking workers most popular with the public in nurses. But even with that proposed pay deal, questions remain. Because even if union members vote for it, it is not clear how the government will pay for it. To make that happen, something else has to give. It might be that there's cuts to headcount. It might be that there's cuts to other things like investment in digital services. It might mean that they have to somehow squeeze out some further efficiency savings. At this stage, we don't know. Teacher strikes are on pause as the leaders of England's teaching unions are now in intensive negotiations with the government. Are you hoping for success? Though tonight they were tight-lipped. Meanwhile, the PCS union have announced passport workers will soon strike for five weeks. Well, I think it's looking pretty bleak at the moment. Um, I think the common denominator for me is the government. You know, we've seen real progress made in Scotland, across all CELSA sectors. We've seen progress in Wales. We've seen progress for firefighters with the English local authorities. But up until yesterday, anywhere where the Westminster government makes a decision, there's been no progress at all. And there's more misery for holidaymakers on the horizon, with the Unite Union announcing 10 days of industrial action at Heathrow over Easter. Some workers may now have landed a deal, but for others, the journey is far from over. Joe Pike, Sky News.